Hey creators, today we'll be looking at how you can make a YouTube short for your YouTube channel with Movavi Video Editor Plus 2020 or 2021. First we're going to add files and you can add whatever footage you'd like to use. If you have it already in a vertical format, then that's probably best for YouTube shorts, but you can also cut down things like gaming footage and fix it so that it is in a vertical format. We're gonna drag our video down to the main track and then we're going to go over here to this little arrow and choose nine by 16. And then this will change any video to a vertical format so that it can show up in YouTube shorts. Your video also must be cut down to at least uh, to under 60 seconds. So if it is over 60 seconds at all or sometimes I've even heard that if it's 60 seconds it may not show up on YouTube shorts or it may cut out the video so we're gonna drag it and cut it down and make the video sped up so that it is more interesting for me, to speed your video up you can double click the video which will bring up clip properties or you can if you have multiple videos you can select them and then click click pro clip properties here and adjust your speed. I'm just going to drag this dial up and then I'll watch it back a few times to see if it's going to work for what I need. So we'll watch it and it sped the video up. I'm going to, I would go through and cut the most interesting pieces and really try to make it uh, so that the it's going to retain your audience well. The audience retention is really important if you want your short to take off like this one did. You can see from the graph that it had it had really flat line and then all of a sudden shorts will just like skyrocket. Now I've done shorts on a couple different channels and one channel I've had a lot of success so a gaming channel really seems to do well with shorts but um, this channel, I tried a short and it hasn't taken off. Even though it's gotten quite a few views, it's really just my average views. It's not any better. It may depend on your subject. Most important thing though is that it has high audience retention and with the YouTube shorts, it's like TikTok, they just swipe up and they're gonna swipe up really quick if your video is not entertaining. So make sure that your audience retention is high. Now, if I have a wide video like gaming if possible you might want to crop in so that it's a little bigger now for this particular game it's too close if I crop in this far so I'm gonna make it a little bigger center it apply and then you'll see it shows it's a little bit bigger in the screen now if you want to add text it's really simple to go to your titles tab basic text and then I will usually just add some simple text at the top in that black area of the screen. So right now the video is too long to be a short so we would trim it down make sure it's under 60 seconds so 46 seconds there and there you go there's your short. After that you'll export it and save it with whatever name wherever you'd like. It's also really simple to add some music to your short so I can go up here to the import and I can bring in my own music or use the music that's already included in Movavi Video Editor and then you just choose your song drag it down and then trim it back by dragging the end or we can use control B to cut the clip no nope. we can use control B to cut the clip and then delete the part we don't need if you'd like to fade it out and in you can go up here and through the clip properties and then adjust how long it will fade in or out for the music and then you also have music in the background if you don't want your music to play in the regular video over like along with your actual music then I can double click this and turn the volume off you can also right click and right click the music here and mute or unmute the clip or even use volume points to adjust it like piece by piece and you should be good to go. For a YouTube short I will usually make a thumbnail too so that people that do happen to see it on the side they can still show up in suggested videos or on browse features so if you have a nice thumbnail to go with it that can improve your click-through rate and get you a few extra views from places other than shorts. 
Because once, once they do show up in shorts, they tend to get suggested elsewhere, it seems like. So I like to go ahead and have a thumbnail that goes with it as well. If this helped you, be sure to like this video and subscribe for more tutorials on Movavi Video Editor Plus, and we'll see you next time.